If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening, guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 ratings reveal video. And guys, today, what we're going to be taking a look at is the top five free safeties to start the season in Madden 17. Now, guys, keep in mind that these are not their ultimate team ratings. These are just the base ratings for the players in your standard franchise mode, your head-to-head -head game mode, things like that. So again, these are not their ultimate team cards. We'll probably be getting their ultimate team reveals uh, sometime soon, but I don't really know exactly when that's going to happen. So uh, hopefully it'll be sometime soon, though. But with that said, guys, let's hop into it. Let's start off at number five with the Philadelphia Eagles, Malcolm Jenkins, 93 overall. So that tells you guys there are going to be some damn good safeties on this list. Number five is all the way up there at 93 overall. Malcolm Jenkins, a very, very nice zone safety at 91 zone coverage. He also has 86 speed and 92 acceleration. 86 speed isn't spectacular, but keep in mind again, guys, and he actually is going to be the slowest guy on this top five list, but 86 speed is actually good enough to keep up with most tight ends, and that's typically who he's going to be covering. You do not want to set Malcolm Jenkins in a standard man coverage situation, and uh, that rating of the uh, speed kind of tells you that along with the fact that his man coverage is only a 78. He does also have an 89 for agility, so if you are using him, he's going to be fairly mobile for you, and you're going to be able to, to move around the field relatively easily. Um, but again, Malcolm Jenkins... A good base player to start with. Good attributes there for the Philadelphia Eagles. They have a couple guys on the defense now that are looking pretty damn good for their ratings to start the season. Now let's move on to number four. And we have a guy who has typically been right near the top of the free safety ratings in Madden since he came into the league. And that is Earl Thomas. Now, Earl Thomas is basically kind of a boosted up version of Malcolm Jenkins in everything other than zone coverage. He's actually too lower there, but in every other area, he is higher than Malcolm Jenkins or exactly the same like they are in man coverage at a 78, but he has four higher for agility, uh, one higher for acceleration and five higher for speed. So, uh, you know, where he misses the, the zone coverage by two attributes, I do think he's probably going to make up for that with the speed and the acceleration boost that you get. And if you add in the fact that he's better with agility as well, I mean, I think most people would say that Earl Thomas is probably the better player of these two. However, we don't know what their catch ratings are and things like that. So it's going to be interesting to see how that kind of shakes out. But the next guy on the list is a guy who was actually drafted around the same time as Earl Thomas, the same draft class, and there was a lot of debate between which one of these guys was actually better. And we've got Eric Berry, who's making the move over, as we've typically seen him in previous Maddens. I believe he played strong safety, but now they have him listed as a free safety. The NFL comeback player of the year this past year, definitely a great player. 91 speed, 90 acceleration, 87 agility, a little bit higher than Earl Thomas in the man coverage department at an 81 and the same exact coverage for zone as Earl Thomas. So uh, these guys are all very, very comparable to one another, the, the first three guys on this list. So kind of interesting to see that. Like, again, we don't see all of their attributes here, but we do know that based on the ones that we see, these guys are so similar to one another. Now moving on to number two, and we've got Harrison Smith of the Minnesota Vikings, the first 94 overall on the list. And his attributes really aren't that spectacular, but that's, I think, because we're going to see a boost from him uh, as far as his ratings go in things like awareness, and then obviously his hit power is going to be very high as well. He's got 92 hit power. They actually did point that out below um, or in addition to the ratings that you see on your screen here with the 87 speed, 91 excel, 87 agility, 71 for man coverage. That's a pretty bad attribute, but an 88 zone coverage still makes him decent in that area. So again, he's kind of more of a run support guy or a guy that can lay the boom if the receiver is going over the middle. But last but not least, this is a guy who I think might be good enough to play corner, and he is good enough to play corner in the NFL. I mentioned him on my cornerback rankings because I was a little bit surprised he wasn't listed there, but this is Tyron Matthew of the Arizona Cardinals, who does play free safety as well, but a lot of people don't realize that he actually lines up as the nickel corner for the uh, Cardinals quite a bit, and he did that a lot last year. Actually, more snaps, I believe, at corner than free safety, but... Either way, he is built to do whatever you want him to do, to be honest with you. 90 speed, 93 excel, 94 agility, 96 man coverage, and 95 zone coverage. 
96 man 95 zone that is absolutely insane he is going to be a ridiculous player and a guy that you can use your control or leave in coverage and he's going to do a great job so there you have it guys those are your top five free safeties did anybody not make the list that should have made the list let me know in the comments section below and again guys let me know as well who should or shouldn't have been on this list in favor of the guy that you think should be Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.